thought it might be helpful just to check to see how STL Language Cloud does actually cope with Swedish to English. So this is in response to a question um, in the forum. Um, so I hope you don't mind, Nathaniel. I just thought I'd check it myself and it seemed like a good opportunity to explain how to use the Language Cloud uh, pre-translate. So what I did was I took your, your post and I translated it using freetranslation.com into Swedish. So that's all machine translation anyway, but this was just done with a copy and paste. I've then opened the file in Studio. And what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to go to my project settings and I'm going to add SGL Language Cloud, which is the machine translation provider. So this should bring up a window like this, where you can see it's picked up my English pair. It's enabled. I click on Next. I'm not interested in using a dictionary because I don't really have one set up for this language anyway. And that's it. The machine translation engine is now added. So the next thing I want to do, because I want to use this for pre-translation, and I could do this when I run the batch task, but I'm going to do it now because I'm in this window. I move down to batch processing, open that up, click on pre-translate files, and I need to make sure that this is ticked, apply automated translation when no match is found. So I tick that. So what that means is it will run through and have a look to see if it finds any matches in a translation memory. And if it doesn't, then it should apply automated translation. And in this case, because I don't actually have any translation memories attached at all, that's what it's going to do. It's going to find a machine translation every time. So there we go. You can see I'm getting a result now coming just automatically. So it definitely works. So what I'm going to do is click on the batch tasks then go down to pre-translate files here to run that batch task. Click on next. Make sure that this is checked if you haven't done it already and then click on finish. That's complete. And when I reopen the file, it's all translated to English. So that's how you would do it. That's how you would run a batch task to get machine translation results from, in this case, Swedish to English.